A Mexican charter pilot has been fired after he allowed two starlets to enter his cockpit and also take control of uh, the plane. The plane. <laughs> basically, <laughs> as it was in midair. Um, now, the Mexican singers that I'm referring to are es Esmeralda Ugalde, she's a 23-year-old, and also her actress friend, uh, Samadi Zandejas. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> anyway, so they posted... Zandejas. They, uh, they're so freaking young. <laughs> okay, oh, they are. Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> anyway. So they take these pictures, and of course, like most millennials do, they post them on social media immediately. Of course. Now, the airline saw Was this. Was it hashtag grabbing a cockpit? Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> it looks like it. Um, so anyway, they post this, and of course, uh, the airline, or the company that runs this charter plane, realizes that there are non-pilots operating this airplane, right? Mm -hmm. And they freak out. And so they actually track down who the pilot was by looking at the hat, mm -hmm. which is amazing, and then they fire him. Okay, don't they have records of who's flying the planes? <laughs> <laughs> it's another way to track them down. Yeah. But anyway, wow, they came, they came down hard on them. Yeah, so this is Magna Charters. Mm -hmm. um, and they did, and I'm glad that they did, because, all right, I, I just want to have a more general discussion about how testosterone makes people do stupid things. And, no, I've no, never seen that. No, 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 but it's amazing. It's amazing. How, I'm going to try to be respectful um, as I, no, I'm not going to be respectful. How fucking <laughs> stupid are you to be a pilot that puts other people's lives in jeopardy by having these morons control the plane? Are you stupid? Yeah. Are you really a pilot? Yeah. <laughs> You're an idiot, and I'm glad you got fired. So I don't know that he put their uh, lives in danger because I don't believe the pilots actually pl fly the planes. Because you're a pilot, you would know. Uh, damn it, right. Jim! I'm not a pilot, but I <laughs> pretend to know about them in my talk show. Here's the thing: when I'm in a plane, okay. I don't want a 23-year-old and a 19-year-old operating the plane. How about oh, that? of course, yeah. of course. But I, I believe they put it on autopilot, and none of that stuff really matters. Okay, but putting that aside, uh, even if it was just appearance, you can't let them grab the cockpit. Okay, mm -hmm. that's crazy. They can't commandeer your cockpit even though you really, really want them to. Right. Okay. And so now, let's do my favorite thing in the world, role reversal, right? They are not 23 and 19-year-old starlets mm -hmm. uh, who happen to be fairly attractive, right? Or so I'm told. Um, but they are 45-year-old Muslim men. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> they wouldn't even be allowed on that charter plane. Yeah. They're like, we would like to grab your cockpit. We would like to come in and, and fly the plane for a little while. Okay, I don't know where they just went. I don't know what that accent was. <laughs> okay. And the pilots are like, oh, come on in. Grab it. Do whatever you want with it. The cockpit is yours. Right? No, so is it the testosterone that's making them do stupid yeah. things? Of course! So I got, course. I got into a debate with Amir Nakui, executive producer of Pop Sugar here at TYT Network, about whether or not it's, it's solely men that do stupid things when it comes to their sex hormones, right? But no, women do stupid things too. Not to the same extent, right? Mm -hmm. I think women are a little more reasonable when it comes to these types of things. Mm. But some women do really dumb things for a hot guy. I yeah, no, I hear you. It's, it's just different. Like, the women who do stupid things for guys gets to be a depressing conversation, right? Yeah, uh, that's true. That's you true. see what I'm saying? Yes. Like, oh, no, he, 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 he really loves me. Like, ah, like really bad, right? Guys, they are just dumbasses, right? They're like, you know, we did the famous experiment here on the Young Turks. I told Anna when she first started working here, I said, go ask any guy at a mall to buy your shoes and they will. She's like, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Of course, that's not going to happen. She goes to the mall, asks the guy to buy her shoes. He buys her shoes. Why? Well, we're like, oh, what, what, huh, huh? You're paying attention to me? Yeah, sure. What do you need? You need shoes? You need my okay. airplane? What do you need? Of course, to of be, course. To be fair, now that I think back at that experiment, there was flirtation going on prior to the shoe buying, right? You so think there I was a flirtation going on before they went into the cockpit? Probably, probably. Of course, that's the main weapon you have. Yeah. You could use it as a tool or as a, a weapon. weapon. <laughs> yeah. And that's why these guys had to be relieved of command. Yeah. Because they obviously it is possible that they could have been up to no good. And so I you know, it's not the right way to go. You shouldn't let anyone else drive your plane.